welcome back to Jigs Reviews. Pouring out all the all the liquor at the moment. So yeah, I have gone for a bottle of black bottle. Um, not standard black bottle. They did two experimental versions, which came out quite recently. Um, I've gone for experiment number two. So this is the Island Smoke version of the black bottle. Uh, forty six point three percent volume. It is a blended Scotch whiskey. It says embark on a voyage of coastal saltiness and stormy smoke to discover a perfect balance of peated island malts and unpeated grains. Okay, so it's peated and unpeated. Um, non chill filtered. Blah de blah de blah. This is actually quite inexpensive. Actually, um, I think this is around the twenty five pound mark. So it's not it's not overly expensive bottle. Uh, we've got here the Scotch Whiskey Masters, so the spirit business is Masters 21, so it won a silver award, I'm taking it, it's a silver sticker, so it must be the silver award. So, yeah. Oh, what? Second bottle on the trot with a screw top. Maybe you pay that extra five quid to get a cork. All right, let's pour up. Glug, 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 glug. The reason why I don't like screw tops on like corks is because I love that <laughs> didn't do very good sound either. I love the pop when the cork comes out that's what I like about it and they look better in my little collection jar when they're finished but yeah here we are so as I say it's 40 46 that's not bad you know it's not bad for a cheap blended whiskey but as I said before I love an Isla so hopefully this it's going to be another good one. It's got some really slow legs there. All right, let's take it on the nose then. Mm. That has got... See, right, in my nose, if you watch one of my videos re just recently, I had a sample from Kelly and it was the uh, Lagavulin 11 year. This actually smells smokier and peatier than that does. Nice on the nose in an 11 year. Which is disappointing, really, if you pay that money for something that you think is going to be better. But, you know, you may not agree with me. We all have different opinions on these things, but... So, yeah, I'm getting a nice, lovely smoky smell. A sea spray smell. It's an underlying smell that I can't quite work out. Struggling to get past the iodine and that medicinal smell. A, I'd say it's like ginger. It's a slight fresh ginger smell to it. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I'm getting ginger. Mm. Very ashy. See, when I did the Lagavulin, I said that it was ashy smell, but smoky taste. This is the opposite. It smells smoky, but it's very, it does smell like that. It does taste like ash. There's no ginger taste in it. That was just on my nose. Get a slight citrus hint. More leaning towards lemon. It's a slight I'd say maybe f f prune, I think. Yeah, it's definitely a prune, a prune flavour in there. It 
slight bit of pepper. Finish is good, it's lasting well. A slight burn, but nothing, nothing major. It's very peppery, and not, not so much the cracked peppercorns that you get, more of a powdered pepper. Before peppercorns were fashionable back when we were young in the early 90s, late 80s, where the pepper pot on your roast dinner was powdery, the old days, and we'd all sneeze as we were eating our dinner. Mm. But for what I'd say a budget Isla, that is not bad at all. I honestly, which is sounds crazy, I would choose this over the Lager Vulan Eleven, the Offerman edition, which is crazy. You'd think that would be a better dram, but I actually think I prefer this. Apart from the um, the prune, I'm not getting much else on a fruity you note. Know? It's that the pepper, the ash, the brine. Hmm. The saltiness seems to come a bit through a bit more the more you drink it. But yeah, I'm. Um, I'm quite happy with that purchase. It's definitely a, uh, for a budget, ain't fucking bad, son. Hmm. Good work, Black Bowl. Do love some scotch. So yeah, get that and buy some. Might even, you know, after having that, <clears throat> and getting a bottle of the Experiment 1 might be a, um, a good shout as well. I like the bottle as well. I do like, I do like a black, things in black. They look clean, crisp. They just stand out. It's a good look. So yeah. Perfect. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out their website, www.jigsviewsandreviews.com and uh, join in the fun. And uh, I've got Patreon, Teesprings, all that shit. So I'd appreciate your patronage. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you again in the next one. Cheers.